Okay, things are hotting up today. Um, so far, I'm just finishing off the control systems. That should be nearly done. So, um, the ailerons, let's talk about the ailerons. Now, um, the a 3 as you know, has three ailerons, okay? Instead of having one massive aileron, redundancy issues, etc., you can think of all the, the things that can go wrong in the plane. So, of course, the splitting it into three makes the plane mo that much more safer but it also has the added benefit of where there's wing twisting on the the plane's wing for example because of the outer aileron you can at high speed so usually at 240 uh, knots on the a380 this aileron and the aileron on the other side will stop working it will stop moving that's because the wing twisting caused by that aileron or that area will start causing too much stress on the plane so usually these two will start functioning um, they will, will continue to function sorry um, but they may function just a bit more or less as the roll spoilers start to take more control of the turning at higher speed you only really want to be using the ailerons at speeds lower than 240 um, for you know just that bit more control um, and accurate tuning because of course when you want to come into land and you've got wind you want the ailerons for that bit more control but when you're flying at speed you're making turns where it's not really and as important of being accurate if that makes sense so uh, one other feature here is you will notice in the real world plane the middle center aileron will move to the same distance or near the same distance as this inner aileron however it will move with a delay of 0.35 seconds um, it's it's not very easy to I mean it's less easy to see at most, at most times if you're not paying attention um, but you know you can as you can see there you can see the delay there okay as you can see if you look at the center aileron it's just following this aileron lately okay and you can see that the outer aileron is also at um, a lesser angle degree of deflection than the others because again that's because it's not supposed to twist um, too far again because of wing twisting now over here we have the elevators of course just making sure the elevators work there they work fine um, Got to check that the rudder works so again there's the delay the lower rudder is very fast and goes to the furthest degree of course and then the upper doesn't because doesn't go too fast and it's also capped at a certain amount because you just don't want the upper rudder twisting the um, vertical stabilizer too much as you can watch here Okay, as you can see, that's how it goes, okay? Now, um, we've already shown the uh, spoilers there. So the final thing to the left is uh, maybe the horizontal stabilizer made that function. And then uh, I will be able to move into the more important uh, and scary part is the physics get this bad bird in the air and um, then I will also be looking to lift this um, put back all the automation systems your autopilot uh, because it's a different plane it's different physics just needs minor PID tuning nothing significant um, the yaw damper of course again on the plane very important as you've seen on the A350 you've got to tune that so that the rudder works with that um, and then it, she's pretty much done she'll be out um, this would have actually taken a lot less time had I not had computer issues and um, been really busy again as I say I'm usually very very free around the last three months of any year um, but that, that's hopefully changing now so i um, got a new computer as I said and uh, things are feeling good um, and yeah now if you've ever wondered why planes struggle to move forward when you put the 
gear at the furthest um, turning force well it just makes sense look at look at the plane if you want the plane to move forward at idle for example because remember the engines are not turning themselves to the point where the wheels go they want to go forward so they need to create enough force to overcome this force that's counter, uh, contradicting them for it to then be converted instead of linear force um, or linear movement it now has to become um, <laughs> there's a certain good there's a certain word for that circular um, uh, I'll get the right I get the right um, force later on from the axis, um, but they got to convert that into um, circular momentum, and to do that, obviously, requires a bit more force. If you watch now, you'll see. What a lot of shift lock. to do this so as well if you want to maintain a, a certain amount of speed as you can trigger the euphoria on at the low um, you know at the um, the top setting and it will be able to maintain the speed for you as you can tell of course when you do not have enough momentum to continue that you know turn you're going on um, then you just do this and you'll start seeing your plane start moving, okay? And that shows you the amount of force, um, you know, required to keep it moving. Now, of course, the planes, real world, the planes, they can just move on idle, but they move on idle, going straight. The moment you start turning, especially the A380, you can see how many wheels are here, the weight itself. You'll start realizing that, of course, you need to put some juice in there, okay? And more times it's easier to make a turn anyway when you've got momentum in. It's just a lot harder to make that turn when, you know, if you if you do this crazy rapid turn like that, of course you'll see the momentum start to drift down. It's just simple physics, okay? So, um, the next thing I also have to do, which is really simple, is just put some park brakes. As you can see, the reason I twisted the wheels um, so I could do the um, the uh, test with the aileron to so it wouldn't run away from me, um, and of course putting it at maximum uh, tide of deflection just slows it down that quickly at idle, as you can see. So it works for as a park rig for me. So anyway, that's that done can't wait to have a, another flying, an actual flying demo with the A380, this bad bird has been gladly missed and um, I personally would say if this comes to flying I can't wait to fly her um, because she's just a bigger bird there's just a lot more feel in the air um, and especially landing uh, it's just a bit more comfortable than the A350 um, from being personally honest. Um, there's been a lot of optimizations on this A380. Um, if I actually show, if I show the FPS I'm seeing at the moment there, continue M60, and there's another A3, F50 around there. It's just going mad with spinning a device like that. Yeah, it's roughly 60. So yeah, anyway, goodbye.